Land exercise workout number one is a balanced strength day. Okay, we have uh, 10 exercises. I'm just going to show you a few. You have a choice here to do um, three sets of 10 for each of these, and you do it at a slow pace for the first 10, medium pace for the second 10, or fast pace for the third 10. Or if you want, um, you can do the straight right through 30, just change the pace after each 10. So the first exercise is squat and then raise your arms overhead. You can use a stick or you can just use your hands. So squatting, try to keep your shoulders over your hips. We don't want to see anything like that. So you squat down and then you push the stick overhead and you come back up. Squat down, push the stick overhead. All right, or just squat down and push your hands over. Thank you. Next one, you have a choice. It's called a low chin-up. A low chin-up means instead of doing it up here, you're doing it more on a horizontal plane. So we've just set up something here. Um, hopefully, I, this is really easy because I have this angle. And this is your choice when you do this low. Your choice is to do straight like that or with a knee raise. Right? You have to do one, of, one or the other. And again, you have your uh, straight through or your different sets. All right, next one. Let's see, sorry about that. Uh, push up on a rope. We have a rope over here. If you can come over here. So I just set up a rope like this. Gives you a little different type of balance. So you put your feet out and you're doing your push ups. It just wiggles a little, little more so it gives you a little more of a balance. Thank you. Then, cross-leg squat and skin. A little easier without shoes, but you get the idea. So you put your legs like this. You squat down, trying to keep your feet as flat as long as you can. Then when you come up, you spin 360 degrees. Squat down and spin the other way. The squat and the spinning should change speeds after each 10. Now, uh, uh, we have another choice with the low, with the low chin up. First time it was no uh, raise or knee raise. Now your choice is knee raise or straight leg raise. So from here, I got knee raise or straight leg. And you can put your hands either grip. Okay, supinated or pronated grips. Push up to a side plank. Okay. So here you're gonna do your push-up. And as you come up, you go to the side, make sure hips are up and hips are forward. You come the other side, push up, hip forward, hip up. Thank you. Then, uh, oh, on a bench, one leg running squats. So, you have your bench. Now, right? That's running. Opposite hand, opposite leg. So here, as you do it, as you run, it takes a little coordination besides the balance. You go down low. And you come up with your leg in front, opposite hand, opposite leg. You go down low again, and you come up behind. All right. I would not do, uh, well, it depends on what you want. You can do 10, 10, and 10 each side, or 5, 5, and 5 each side. Okay. Next. Great, great body chin up. So we'll go over here. Now. You have done the low chin-ups, that's a little easier. Um, now you got a full chin-up if you can. Um, if you need help, you can always attach a band or someone can help you. But the key is to do your chin-up with as straight a body as possible. That means no kicking the legs or wiggling or anything like that. So you don't necessarily have to do 10 slow, 10 medium, 10 fast. If you can do one, one and one, that's okay too. But you do what you can. Next, I believe, is with the ball. Yes. 
You have a hand on the ball and the other on the ground. So in this case, you can do five, five, and five on one side, five, five, and five on the other, or if you want to get inventive, you come up, slide the ball over, and do that. Okay. Last exercise for the first uh, workout. You hang with your legs at 90-90, extend one, the other, and both. Great for skiing, great for the lower abs. So, up here, my legs are right here. Keep my pelvis under my shoulders. Extend one, extend the other, extend both. Don't let the knees fall while you're doing that. Okay, thank you. That's the first land workout. Now, number two is uh, uh, balance with flexibility. Again, we're doing 10 slow, 10 medium, 10 fast. And this one we'd like you to continue right through. First exercise, three steps into a leg swing. So, so I would walk one, two, three. Then I go one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So I do that 10 slow, medium, fast, forward, and then the same thing backwards. On the third step, it's one, two, three. One, two, three. Try to get the swing as high as you can. If you're standing on the one leg, you can both about the same time. Next one is uh, one leg stand, one leg stand. This exercise is stand. This exercise is called a palm tree or a hurricane. One hand goes over the top, really loose, and the other behind, touching there. But you're doing it on one leg. So one, two, three. Three and then 10, 10, and 10. As loose as you can, as much bend as you can. Try not to be stiff right over the top. All right. Roundhouse kicks along the line. You're going side to side. So I would pick a line. I'm going in this direction. I stretch my groin and my hips. I'm so high as I can. I land there. So I move in one direction. Uh, then I move in the other way. All right, hopefully a lot higher and looser than that. Okay. Twisting lunges. So, one key for us is when we do a lunge, it's try to keep the pelvis straight right there. So if you're lunging as far as you can, twisting, look at your back hand, keep your arm straight. So, 10, 10, and 10 forward. 10, 10, and 10 backwards. Ha! Uh -huh. Chorus line. So this one, you get the idea. Your legs up here at 90, 90 at all times. So I'm bouncing forward. I go like this. One, two, three, touch. One, two, three, two. I do three slow, three medium, three fast forward and the same backwards. So backwards would be bounce back. Three, one, two, two. The key again, when my knee is extending out and in, the knee's not dropping below parallel. Okay. Uh, catch the chicken wing and squat. We call that a chicken wing. So you'd walk forward a few steps, you catch this, you put it there, and you squat down as low as you can. Hopefully a little lower than I go. Alternate legs, do your 10, your 30 reps forward, your 30 reps back. Russian dance, um, this is stationary. And um, so you're in a low squat. You want to stay in that low squat. You kick one, you kick the other, you kick both. All right. That counts as three. You got your third. Uh, leg swing, lateral leg swing, but now you're stationary. So, in front to behind. So front, behind. Now the balance part is you go up on your toe every time. When it crosses the body, you're on your toe. 
the flexibility part is to throw it as high as you can. Okay? Every time it goes away from the body, it counts as one. Right. One leg stand, the other leg's at 90 90, kick front, side, and back. So, I'm standing, this has to be at 90 degrees. 99, you're right here all the time. One, two, three. Try to kick as high as you can, come back to that position, and you're balancing on the one leg. Each one of those counts as one, you got 30 on each side. Right. Now a little bit of skiing. Three steps, get in the tuck. As you come out of the tuck, kick up high behind, stretch the hip flexors. So one, two, three. Tuck. forward, 30 back. Thank you. That's plan number two. Yeah, we go. Plan number three, balance endurance. All right. You're, uh, it's nice if you have a place that has a line on the ground. If not, you're going to try to stay as straight as possible, but have your, it'd be better if you were in a gym or on a track that has a line, football field, something like that. So, balance endurance. 50 yards you'd run slowly, 50 yards a little faster, 50 yards faster. First one you run uh, forward with your right foot on the line. So, if I have the line here, I'm running and it's got to contact the line every time. Then it's right foot on the line backwards, left foot on the line forward, left foot on the line backwards. Then you would straddle the line because you really want to run with your hips Right, your feet hip width apart, so you'd be running, and the line, if this was a line, would be between your legs. All right, thank you. Now, um, so that's forward and backwards. Then we also have a forward and backwards where you're um, straddling the line and then on the line. So I would do so one, two, three, four, and then on the line one, two, three, four. It gives you a different balance. So four here, four there. That's forward and backwards. And the last one is 32 sniffs with forward walking steps and with backwards. So get 32 steps in as you're going forward, 32 steps as you're going backwards. And if you can, you can do that three times, a slow, medium, fast. But that's up All right. Plan number four, balance coordination, same repetitions for 30, whether you're moving forward, backwards, or stationary. And now we're using a stick. So it's on, first one that sticks on the neck, you rotate and kick as you're moving forward. So, it's on the neck, that's my rotation, the stick. We always say mimics your spine, so it's either perpendicular to your spine or parallel. In this case, it's parallel. So I'm walking forward, this is make sure, and I kick. So kick, kick. So <laughs> very good, very good balance. And uh, again, kick as high as you can for the flexibility. Now, on the neck with side bends, every three steps you're going to do two side bends. So, I would walk three, and I'm going to go left, right. Then I take three steps, then I would do opposite, right, left. You got 30 of those forward, 30 backwards. So, stick is overhead, I walk. Um, you can do this continually if you want. So I'm walking like this over here. I'm looking at the stick, going up on my toe, and I'm looking at the stick. Keep it perpendicular to the spine. 34, 30 back. Ah, speed skate. Speed skate move looks like this. That leg's planted, pelvis is under, this foot's off the ground. So now, I speed skate with the stick. 
the flexibility part here is to get low to the ground, get that leg out to the side. Okay. I have to take my shoe off. Of oh no, sorry. Number five was squat and press, then press and squat. So, I'm walking forward. I squat just like before, the first time. I squat and I press overhead. But the next time, I press overhead and I squat. Same thing as backwards. I go backwards, squat, press, press, squat. Again, best you can, keeping shoulders over the hips. Step over and back without touching the ground. So I would do 15 uh, forward, 15 backwards. So I'm standing on one leg, trying to keep my leg from going all over the place. I step over and I step back. So the knee was in alignment. That counts as one. You would do five, five, and five on each side. Balance coordination, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay, palm. So now you're holding it in on the palm. Let's see, number seven, palm. 20 steps, uh, slow, medium, fast, forward, and back with each hand. So you're trying to hold it here, keep it up in the air, and you take your 20 steps slow, medium, fast in one direction, and then slow, medium, fast in the other. Um, again, you can use a broken ski gate, you can use a broom handle, anything like that. Now, now you're doing spins. You want uh, four spins, slow, four medium, four fast. That means in each direction. So I'm holding it in the palm. I'm walking forward. Whoa. <laughs> and I do a spin one way. And then a spin the other. I would do that twice slowly, medium speed fast. Okay. Uh, karaoke squat. Very, very good. So, right here. I step behind first. I'm going to twist the opposite side of the stick to the knee. Squat. Step forward. Step, step behind. Step, step forward. Step, step, step. Then we go in the other direction. So you're getting that opposite effect. There's your coordination part. On the neck, walk in place, stationary. So you're going to have to do um, uh, each leg, five, five, and five stations. So let's say my left leg is stationary. My weight is always on that front leg. I'm twisting, and my pelvis is under my shoulder. So if my weight's on the front leg, I pull myself forward. Now I catch myself on my other leg. Now I push back, I catch myself here. What we don't want to see is something like this or there. Right? It's always on the front leg. So I do my number on with the left leg stationary, and then I do with the right leg stationary. Very, very important exercise. Uh, there's another stationary one called a reaction catch and uh, and uh, squat. So I'm holding the stick out in front of me. I squat, I come up, I catch. I'm looking behind, put my hand behind me, and I catch. Kneeling to stand. So here. All you're going to do, um, if you can jump off your knees, that's okay, that's good, but at the first time we would like you just to get that position of where you roll back and stand. Whoa, and stand. Okay. Thank you. Uh, that was number four. Number five, uh, workout number five is a balanced speed workout. Stand on one leg, kick front and turn 90. This is stationary. 
We're doing the same numbers. So I'm here. Again, so important. This stays here, it doesn't droop down. So as I turn 90, I kick. Turn 90, I kick. That's two, three, four. And I change the speed. Then I obviously have to do the other leg. Then it's kick to the side turning 90. So when I kick to the side, I'm looking there, I want that straight, not there. And I go here, everything in a line. So now, all right. So again, keep your line to make the turn 10 slow, 10 medium, 10 fast. Kick back and turn 90. Leg is here. Now I'm kicking straight behind me there, but I gotta turn 90. one leg down. Okay. This is a difficult one. So I'm pushing myself right off the ground and I want to land opposite hand, opposite leg. And down. Easier said than done. Let's give it a shot. Right, Oops. There goes everything. I'll go with that one. That was good. <laughs> okay. Now we chase the papers. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Windy day. Yeah. Yes. Well, that, that one worked out well. <laughs> Other than the papers going away. Cool. So, next side roll. Perfectly straight. I'm going to roll to my back, sit up, balance with the feet off the ground. Other side, make sure you're straight. Roll, sit up. Don't stick your knees out like me, please. Keep them in. Thank you. Alright. Now, we have. He sit jumps. Five slow, five sit medium, five fast in each direction. Okay. We call these bum jumps. So I'm off the ground here. I jump forward. <laughs> I jump backwards. Or a little bit. I jump side. I jump side. Alright. Thank you. Now, long jump. Oh, that's easy. I would do, um, you pick the number you want. We would like 34 or 30 backwards, but you can pick any number you want. The key on the slow, medium, fast is not that you're jumping slowly, it's the time in between. So meaning, I'm going to do 10 long jumps. I would jump, I'd land one, two, three. One, two, three. That's what I do for the first 10. Second ten would be one, one. Less time on the on the landing, and the third one to get the coordination of continuing to jump. Now, watch it backwards. So you notice, please, you jump forward, you throw your hands forward. You jump backwards, you throw your hands backwards. Good coordination to get that. Right. And, uh, two more. Vertical jumps with 180 turns. So you want to land. So when you ski, I put it this way, you're really moving like this. We're not moving there. So we like you when you when you land, keep the pelvis straight under the shoulders. That's your cushion. So if I'm jumping 180. I'm doing exactly that, so I turn clockwise, counterclockwise. We don't want to see that. So again, the delay in between. Ten 
with a two second delay, 10 with a one second delay, 10 with no delay. And then you're doing that with 360s. It's tough to get in all 30, but uh, if you can. So I would go, let's say clockwise first, counterclockwise, <laughs> then I would do 10, 10, and 10. All right, thank you very much. That's week one. You're sure we must be killed.